Welcome to Your Favorites by Request with me, Tim Parton. You've sent me your favorite songs, and I'm ready to play while you sing along. And if you don't remember all the words, don't worry, they're on the screen. And now, Your Favorites by Request. Your Favorites by Request. Here's a great song. Sing along with me. My Father is omnipotent, and that you can't deny. A God of might and miracles, tis written in the sky. It took a miracle to put the stars in place. It took a take eternity it took a miracle to put the stars in space it took a miracle to hang the world in space but when His power and His wisdom all the way through, and every little bird and flower are testimonies to. What a great song to start off this program and any day, really. But um, that's a great song. It took a miracle. And that was for Robert in Westminster, Maryland. Robert, thank you for requesting that song. That made my own day. <laughs> Thanks. Um, God is still working miracles, so keep praying for those lost family and friends. I've mentioned before how I love stories. And here's one from um, the, the one-year book of hymns. Um, I've, I love this little book. It's got a, every day it, it gives a story behind a hymn. And I just wanted to read this one before we uh, sing this next song. The, the song we're going to sing it was written by Kate Hankey. She was the daughter of a prosperous British banker. She grew up in a stylish London suburb. She started a Bible class for girls in her neighborhood, and then when she was only 18, Hanky went to London to teach a Bible class of factory girls. In her 20s, she started other Bible classes for factory girls. So she started as a, at a young age teaching. When she was in her early 30s, Kate Hanky became seriously ill. Doctors said she needed a year of bed rest. 
she was forbidden to teach her Bible classes for 12 months. During her long, slow recovery, she wrote two very lengthy poems. After 10 months, she felt strong enough to leave her bed. Soon, she returned to her Bible classes in London and continued teaching for many years. And this is my favorite part. When she became too old to teach the factory girls regularly, she started a prison ministry in London. Even then, she continued to tell the story of Jesus and his love. So friend, you are never too old to uh, tell of Jesus and his love. I, that's why I love this song. I love to tell the story of unseen things above, of Jesus and his glory, of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story is true. It satisfies my longings as nothing else will do. I love to tell the story. Twill be my theme in glory to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. Sing the second verse. I love to tell, I love to tell the story, twill be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love. I love to tell the story, tis pleasant to repeat. What seems each time I tell it more wonderfully sweet? I love to tell the story, for some have never heard the message of salvation from God's own holy word. On the fourth. I love to tell the story for those who know it best. Seem hungering and thirsting to hear it like the rest. And when in scenes of glory I sing the new, new song, twill be story that I have loved so long. I love to tell the story, twill be my theme in glory, to tell the old, old story of Jesus and his love of Jesus. Jesus and his love. I ask the Lord to comfort me when things weren't going my way. He said to me, I will comfort you and lift your cares away. I asked the Lord to walk with 
with me when darkness was all that I knew. He said to me, never be afraid, for I will see you through. I did not ask for riches. He gave me wealth untold. The moon, the stars, the sky, the sun, he gave me eyes to behold. I thank the Lord for everything, and I count my blessings each day. He came to me when I needed him. I only had to pray. What a great song, wonderful request. Thanks for requesting that song. The Apostle Paul gave such simple and sound advice in Colossians 3, 2, that is more appropriate now than ever. Set your mind on things above, not on things on the earth. If I were trembling, if traveling with uh, and ministering with Paul when he spoke those words, I would begin to play softly behind him this song. Look full in his mind. 
you sing it. Right back after this. As I was compiling that program, it was a beautiful sunny Sunday morning. It was the first morning having my 
dining room table in the house I had recently moved into. And sitting there listening to Lady Love Smith sing this song, In the Heart of Jesus, from the Pillars Hymns Project from a few years ago. That last verse, in the home of Jesus, there's a place for you. Glorious, bright, and joyous, calm, and peaceful too. As much as I like my little house, and my dining room table, it wouldn't be the same if Jesus didn't reside there with me. Which re reminds me of this next request. From page 456, in the Seventh-day Adventist hymnal, let's sing My Lord and I. I have a friend so precious, so very dear to me. He loves me with such tender love, he loves so faithfully. I could not live apart from him, I love to feel him nigh. And so we dwell together, my Lord and I. Sometimes I'm faint and weary, he knows that I am weak. And as he bids me lean on him, his help I gladly seek. He leads me in the path of light beneath a sunny sky. And so we walk together, my Lord and I. I tell him all my sorrows, I tell him all my joys. I tell him all that pleases me, I tell him what a noise he tells me what i ought to do he tells me how to try and so we walk together my lord and i now you sing this one I pray that you have such a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, that you can say he dwells with you, that you walk and talk together. And if you can't say that, uh, but you want to, just ask him to be your Savior and your Lord. Follow his ways. Live for him. He'll be your dearest friend. Then you can sing this song, our last request today, which is such a powerful song that it's printed twice in the Adventist hymnal right across uh, from each other, um, pages 337 and 338. I'm gonna put my glasses back on so we can sing uh, Redeemed, How I Love to Proclaim It. Redeemed, how I love to proclaim it. Redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed through His infinite mercy. His child and forever I am. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, His child and forever I am. Redeemed and so happy in Jesus, no language my rapture can tell. I know that the light of His presence with me doth continually dwell. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. Redeemed, redeemed, His child and forever. blessed Redeemer, I think of Him all the day long. I sing for I cannot be silent, His love is the theme of my song. Redeemed, redeemed, redeemed by the blood of the Lamb, redeemed how I love to proclaim. 
proclaim it, his child and forever I am. I know I shall see in his beauty the King in whose law I delight, who lovingly guardeth my footsteps and giveth me songs in the night. Redeem. His child and forever I am. I know there's a crown that is waiting in yonder bright mansion for me. And soon with the saints made perfect, at home with the Lord I shall be.